segment of this, so we're going to be doing a 2008 um, Mitsubishi Lancer. This is one of those head units here, we're going to be removing it and putting a aftermarket Kenwood with the dab in it. Okay, so let's get started. Um, first, remove the glove box, okay, because you've got to remove this to get to this, then we can get to this. So I'll show you step by step, okay. First, what you want to do is um, in here, all right, there's like a little um, strut, okay, almost like a, it slows it down, see, so, okay. got to remove that, all you got to do is put your finger in and, and pop it right on the side there, just that easily, and then push the two top in to remove, um, to pass this little um, copper. Drop that as low as you can and it'll just come right back out like that. Okay. Just place that on the side somewhere. Now there's a little um, screw down here. Just drop that down and then this should pull right back like that. Okay, there's one more screw here that will um, you know, loosen that and then all these are just plastic uh, clips. that get like a, um, a, a, a plastic pick and just work your way under all the way through and then um, pull back straight as well yeah sometimes it can be a little bit hard just a little bit stiff there but yeah just work your way through it come through and it comes out like that okay now the next step is this is the one panel where the the head unit there um, is bolted behind there um, with four screws two on top two on the bottom there um, this will pretty much sit in front of it with a, like a, a ribbon cord or so so just um, pull straight back just stick your finger underneath here get, where you get leverage pull back all plastic clips and then that will be separated from the thing the main unit and then you can um, take it out you put your fingers down underneath here, the two front part, and just pull towards you. Don't be shy. It'll come right off. Help with um, this plastic clip. It'll come right back off. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes, if this is your first time doing this, and you're going to hear like a, a snap and a crack, well, let me just tell you, don't be afraid. It's just, just what it sounds like. Okay, pop it back. Um, first, we move the tap and, and uh, this gimmick here. Try not to damage it because we're going to need it for later. Okay, we're going to need the, the bottom part here where the, um, it has the buttons and stuff like that. So, put that aside. See, now we've got four screw, remove that out, and we're good to do the wiring part. So, just Four screws, four Phillips. Things with this is if you're using a drill or you know, I will say, um, sometimes the screw have a tendency to be a bit worn and it will strip off. And if you grab another screwdriver and, and, and hit it, like strike it forward on the thing. Um, it, magnetic so it stops it from the screws from pulling off this one like that so hold on um, I'm gonna pause it and be right back sorry guys had a customer so um, okay resume back to this yeah like I said you make this uh, magnetic so you know this just prevents you from dropping it down there which Sometimes it can be a pain to retrieve it, so yeah, that's another trick. Or if you've got like a little magnet, just rub it against the the the, um, the metal. That will create this, you know, puts it into magnetic, so it stops it from happening again as well. So yeah, um, now we'll just remove it. Okay, just connect the plugs at the back there. Sometimes you've got two plugs or so, uh, depending on the on the um, unit there. Some's got the GPS navigation, some's got the rocket Fosco amps and stuff. Um, but yeah, there's four different models of these um, C 
CJ chassis um, lamper, so yeah. This is one of the basic ones, so got a fascia kit, um, which I'm going to bring you across and then show you. And then we're just going to be wiring up to this main plug here. This secondary plug here is mainly for um, uh, some sort of steering control and, um, and amps and, and, and other things that you can have, but yeah, the main one is here. Okay, so let's get to it. Sorry, welcome back. Getting putting this uh, Kimbo dab in, the dab was in, and we've got a fascia from Airpro, um, direct fit. So, just a replica of this with the double din size cutout. Okay, so we're just going to transfer this over to the fascia kit.
check the event so it's all uh, moving smoothly, we're good and good to go. Um, yeah, we can set this aside now because that's, um, that's done. No longer need that for now. There's two ways of doing it. You can use uh, the old original bracket or you can use the one that's provided with that. So it kicks it on to the station. So here's a wire harness, a couple of screws and your microphone. This is the digital antenna, which we're going to be fixing off the flat there. Okay. Never done this heat unit before, um, but with that one, I'm trying to do a, a, um, thing. a cradle, which normally doesn't come with a cradle for a kindle. Double thing there. Okay. That's interesting. Okay. This normally just comes with a, uh, a, uh, wood trim pack. I haven't anything up yet, as we need it for a job. Fast forward. Okay. Um, so what, what we're going to do now is run the microphone and also the digital antenna. Um, microphone, I like to place it in the middle here and run the wires down. And uh, the digital antenna, I like to put, put on the passenger side there, just so it's out of the way. Stuff like that. Um, so first of all, pull down the. Um, the pillar trim just like that and you can take it out okay. push it in 
Let's give it a twist to uh, get the out of it. Longer than normal, it's a little bit trickier. Bear with me. Power up here applies for help. to avoid taking it off completely here. See if I can place this back. Nice and sturdy, so there's no rattle. I think the manufacturers put these on here just so it doesn't rattle against the front windshield there. Okay, that's nice and done. Then we place it in the back seat there. Let's expose all this here. Okay, so let's get to it. Um, I'll put the mic up here and I'll start running the wires down here and I will attach it to this guy here. You've got to sand back some um, some paint so expose the um, bed metal just so it gets better contact with the earth. So the first things we want to do is take it off. Very fine piece there, and this will be the base of it with the antenna and then the um, the plug at the end. Okay. Give some alcohol wipes so you can clean up the um, after you sand it down and, and clean the glass as well. Okay, so I'll show you how to do this. So, what happens is just peel off this um, 
just rip straight on the plate and also okay I know it says number one and number two this you feel is number two okay just expose the um, the raw metal on that on this antenna strip there so peel back let's go that will on one side is black which is the the outside where it's non-sticky and this side here is the bare metal okay you want to and it's got three um, aligning um, guides so you can line it up to this on the side of this base there's three little um, I'm not sure you can see that so you can almost just see it on the side there so I don't know I can see it maybe the camera's not picking it up I don't know Let's have a look here. Okay. Let's peel off this 3M tape, which sometimes can be tricky. And then we're going to try and line it up. Because what you want is that um, the copper bit tap to be touching that. That's what gives you the um, the signal. You know. So what do is line up like so as best as you can get it press it firmly into it the double sided tape will stick onto that and pressing that copper um, tap onto this area now just pre-fit it so you're going to be roughly about the A you want the, this trim here which is going to be the S run that up to there so you want to hand back this area here and then clean this to stick it on so just use a um, where's my tape? This is probably um, 40 grit. Turn it back to bare metal down here. Okay, once you've done that, um, get a bit of tissue, tree, whatever, um, whatever you just turn it off, especially in the middle. Use a bit of alcohol up and clean out around that area that you're going to be sticking the antenna to. So first clean off the window, a bit generous, it, and then hopefully just stand so it makes it when it sticks, it's going to stick a good. Okay, then grab a new tissue and just clean off the part that you just collect the alcohol for. So get rid of all the alcohol, otherwise the, um, the adhesive on the thing won't be stick. So now, peel off the tab for the earth. Run it up this way. Right, so make sure you go. Now, that antenna. It also comes with uh, a few of these um, little clip. You stick it on with double sided tape and then you just clip the wires in there. At this point, I'm going to run the microphone at the same time. So you run it back to the beginning in one shot. So, so go this way here. Just pull down the roof line a little bit. There. Right, what's the sensor there? This way here. There's no wind noise if you put on the front side there. And also both the passenger and the drivers can um, no, no, be heard clearly. Because there's no background noise. Once they're both in there on the left, adjust it nicely. Make sure there's no wires by the way. And now get a few of these and just um, sit them down. And one more. Oops. Let's get these and put this back in. Now just put 
everything open, it's going to be a lot easier to run to the dead end there. Careful because Mishbishi don't clean up the cuts of the metal. So this is pretty sharp. Same thing with the digital antenna. Just brace up whatever excess wire you got left. It's not all oh, really going to get caught off the things and get you know, snapped off and, and broken off. Just got a little bit of antenna. Excess wire there. Enough for you to put a hedge in and still connect it properly. So there we go. Um, I'm going to put the, the trim back on and then put the trims back on here. That's what we've done. And then we're just going to be wiring it up there. Okay. Put these um, like this back on. which is um, one of the head unit already um, to get these wires just to say under an inch 
um, I find it's the best uh, lens to work with. So we're just gonna tape it up from there and yeah, get it all going. Give me two seconds, I'm just gonna pop your hold and get um, my sticker popper. Sorry, I'll put you on the pause. Okay, um, ground the, uh, your test float onto a um, the door latch. We're going to find out a couple of uh, wires of these. Being a Mitsubishi, um, black, detectable, it's going to be earth. Okay, uh, right on top of that, which is on the big plug here, uh, you've got earth, and top, right on top of that, which is a, a big terminal, it should be constant. So, um, yeah, and the other side here, that should be um, your accessory. So, yeah, that's pretty, that's the accessory. Um, so, next to your accessory, you got a green with a uh, white tray. Normally, that's the your packs, okay. Um, on this loom, we don't have packers, so we're not going to use it, um, but we do have boost antenna. I'll show you how to rig that one up later. Um, off memory I think it was a, a pink. Um, I could be wrong so I'll double check it and I'll show you how to check it as well. Okay, uh, To find booster uh, antenna. So first um, I already stripped back a couple of uh, the wires here already. So I just strip it back. Get your, um, your earth straight away. Just put that onto the black one. So pretty much black on black there tape it up so now it's, there's probably about five different other ways of doing this okay with, with plugs with um, harnesses solder I just like to tape it in because I find it is car audio um, not like an alarm where you need to solder it okay and number two every time you change the head unit you chop it off that piece of uh, solar that's still there, it makes it impossible to join it onto, you know, and it keeps it getting shorter and shorter. Otherwise, you get dry solder joint. <coughs> it, it wasn't, um, it is not connected properly and, and solder properly. Dry solder joint, that, that's going to be um, nearly, nearly very difficult to um, track down and see what the problem is. So, you know, that's the earth, and the constant, which is the yellow. And on the loom there, which is a red with a white tray. That's your um, constant uh, memory wire there. Okay. So, I'll, I'll do solder onto um, things like um, trackers and, and, and alarm systems and stuff like where I know it's not going to be interchanging every couple of years or so. You know, where these head units you know, get changed all the time, um, you can get harnesses from, so it's not a, a, like a, a solid joint, you know, so you will want to be able to remove it. This one here, if I do remove it, you know, just tape up all this again and it's back to the factory, you know, so. Um, on the other side of the plug on this side here, which is a yellow, I believe that is a accessory, but let me just double, double check that and clarify that, okay, yep. Plug that on, go with the key. Yeah, that's the accessory. So, get all the power source out of the way. And tape it up as well. Earth and constant, and next we've got the uh, um, illumination. Next to that, the top and bottom one there, which sorry, um, <coughs> there should be eight sets of wires next to that. Okay, your top of the plug with the with the, um, the part where you press down in, and that's normally your positive, normally. And the bottom part of your um, plug is negative, so the speaker goes positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. 
And the top one is um, some white wood with blue tracing. The bottom one is a, a black wood yellow trace. Let me find out exactly uh, what the bigger that is again. Uh, the trusty papa and it's all charged up. <coughs> front left. Okay. The positive front left is white with blue trace. Negative front lamp is black with yellow trace. Take that out of the way. I know this this video is going to be a lot longer than um, my my other videos. Uh, that's because I'm going into a bit more details. Like some some people ask, so I have to go into details and stuff and speak clearly, which I'm trying to. Okay. Up nice and neat. That's really good. Okay. Next we have is yellow with blue trace and grey with a blue trace. Blue I believe is the rear left again, so let's try it out. That's rear left, so yellow with blue trace is rear left positive. Yellow blue trace. Rear left negative, uh, positive, sorry. Rear left positive. Rear left negative is grey with blue trace. Blue trace normally left and red trace is normally right with Mishwishi. And I think in essence, um, anything with a black is your positive. So black orange, black blue, black aqua. Any black is always going to be positive on that one. Okay. So the left side out of the way. Now we've got the right. So here we've got um, white with a red trace and a black will be trace and I believe that will be your rear if I can remember correctly. Let's try it out. I could be wrong. I'm wrong. Front. Front right. So front right positive is white with a red trace. Front right negative is black with red trace. This part is boring, you just guys want to fast forward, whatever. Go for it. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, right, positive, right, red trace. Front right, negative, so it's black and red trace. So we've got remaining is yellow with red trace and grey with red trace and I believe that will be the last one which is rear right so yellow the red trace is rear right positive and grey with red trace is rear right negative Got that all out of the way. Um, I believe it was the pink, or it could be the white with blue trace here. Is your antenna? I'll show you how to, how to um, pick it up from that anyway. So, what you're going to need is your head unit to just be plugged in. So, just quickly get the head unit. 
here you gotta just plug in your antenna into it first. Get your um sorry. Let me see if I can uh, get the the um flip side of your um test light and put it onto the antenna apples like that. Okay. Because what we're gonna try to do is power up the light. So we're gonna use this as a probe to put out the um, power into the booster antenna. So plug it in and turn on turn on your radio. And you're here, you know, it's just installed. And then probe the wire. And if you get AM um, which means it is booster. So I'll show you. Put on the thingy. So here you know don't put the demo mode or that thing. Sorry. Just go straight to radio, AM and FM. And let's go to Let's go to like AM channel. Enjoy time, we won't pick up anything. So, what happened is, we've got this, this is powered up by the electric antenna output. We just probe it into a pig wire. Yeah, it's fine. So, once we probe it into the pig wire here, and it picked up the signal. Yes, sir. Okay. That, that gave power to the booster, which turns on the antenna. Um, once you pick it up, you hear nothing, you know you got the right wire. Okay. So, let me just um, tap that into that, and then we can start putting anything back together. There's your pink wire here. I'm going to move it. I don't know. So, you can write this one. So, yep. Uh, on this um, on this unit in particular here, it doesn't have two blue wire, and it's got one with a white place. Normally, that's for it's got a 0.0, uh, sorry, 0.3 amp um, output, so that's good enough to power up an amplifier or a um, antenna. Where some other ones would have two wires, a blue only, which is um, Put one amp output and a blue or white like this, which is point, um, point 0.3 of an amp to, to turn on aftermarket amplifiers and, and so on and so on. Okay, so looms all done, we just gotta tape it up so it make it nice and neat, like so. Presentation right there, okay. So, pretty, pretty nice and, and, and clean. Um, what you want to do now is just place, plug it all in and place it all together, okay. And just zoom out a bit. Digital aerial plug. It's got its own designated place for that. Now AM and FM antenna. And then our power. And before you put it in together, don't forget to plug in your um, the other harness at the bottom there. That's for your hazards and stuff. Make sure it's clear everything. Place it back in and push it back in. That will clip onto all the clips there. Then we 
Use a bit of force, it's fine. Need some persuasion. Now that's in. How's it working? Beautiful. Let me check your the radio again. And yes, we would like to cancel your this is the radio. Updating. Let's see if we pick up everything in here. Turn this one off, and then we'll put the trim on. I'll show you how to put everything else back on in reverse. So, so what you want to do? Grab this trim again. Um, take it over. It should all clip straight back on anyway. So. Put the little screw back on over here. Corner. Back on. Put this one underneath. Go back in. Sorry. Bring it up a bit, put your, um, your strut in, and then just push it up. Those tabs will come out triangulated, so it will just go in and flick in, and off you go. Back to normal. There you go. Thanks, guys. Um, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you can. If you like the video, comment, let me know. Thank you.